Impact Lounge is the number one YouTube channel for fans of Impact Wrestling. Make, make a, make a, uh, a good, good lucha, lucha thing. That is just a fact of life. Hey, what's going on, folks? This is BQ. This is the Impact Lounge. Folks, if it's your first time here at the channel, this is the number one place for news, reviews, interviews, and more in the world of Impact Wrestling, so please consider subscribing. Just wrapped up Bound for Glory. Later this week, in just a couple days, we're going to be reviewing Bound for Glory top to bottom, and you can find the Impact Lounge on your favorite streaming platforms or right here on YouTube, so definitely subscribe. Going to run down the results of Bound for Glory very quickly, but let's talk about the very end of the show. Leave your thoughts in the comments on this one. I don't know what to make of it. Yesterday at Abyss's Hall of Fame ceremony, there was a, there was a brawl between Austin Aries and Johnny Impact. It seemed real. It seemed like a shoot. They covered it on Bound for Glory, which made us feel like it was a work, and they were just creating that big fight feel, which they successfully did. Other companies, bigger companies, cannot create a big fight feel for the main event. They did it at Slammiversary, and I feel like they did it around this time too. And I feel like they did it this time too. That being said, was it a big fight feel, or was there some real heat going on? Now, when Taya took that inadvertent, I don't think it was inadvertent, I think Austin Aries dove on purpose to take Taya out, really made him look like an asshole. And I thought, man, that's some great storytelling to get some genuine heat on a wrestler. But shortly after that, Johnny Impact hits his own finisher. And I'm talking about Austin Aries' own finisher, Brain Buster. Hits it on Austin Aries. Starship Pain, 1-2-3, gets the win. After this, Austin Aries no-sells it. Stands up, looks up at Don Callis, says, fuck you. Exits the ring, cursing up a storm, flips off the fans. Now, there was a lot of cursing on the show tonight. This ain't your freaking PG shit. There was a lot of cursing on the show. But I thought it was well done. But I don't know what to make of what just happened with Austin Aries. Rumor going around at the moment is that Austin Aries is being let go from the company. That's the rumor floating around in New York right now. Don't know how accurate it is, but that's what I've been told. I hope that's not the case because I think he's doing really, really good work. But it would suck to see another Alberto El Patron situation happen again so now the question is again is this a work is this a shoot are they kayfabing the absolute shit out of us bringing kayfabe back because they're doing a damn good job if that's the case something feels fishy about this one the commentary team didn't even acknowledge what happened with aries he just got up and left now it definitely has people talking but is that the kind of talking we want after bound for glory bound for glory was not as good as slam anniversary but it was a solid pay-per-view. i probably give it about a 7.5 out of 10. Usually when you say a 7.5, that's a C rating. I don't really look at it like that. I don't think it was knocked out the park. But there were some really good things that went on. Let's talk about them real quick. Up and down the card. Opening match, Rich Swan and the Mac. Willie Mac defeat Matt Seidel and Ethan Page. One of the better matches of the night. Eli Drake's open challenge was answered by James Ellsworth. Much of the dismay of the crowd. They had a little match. Went on a little longer than it needed to. Eli Drake gets the win. After that, Abyss comes out. Puts him through a table. Tessa Blanchard versus Taya. Tessa Blanchard is still your Impact Wrestling Knockouts Champion. In what was one of the better knockouts matches of the past year or so. Eddie Edwards and Moose wrestle in a very quick no contest after Killer Cross gets involved. Turns into a tag team match featuring Tommy Dreamer. I thought they dropped the ball on two potential tag team partners for Eddie. We're going to talk about that on the podcast. Make sure to subscribe to find out who I feel like they dropped the ball on. But Eddie Edwards and Tommy Dreamer get the victory. OVE rules match. OVE and Sammy Callahan defeat Phoenix, Pentagon, and Brian Cage. Was really entertained with that one. LAX gets the clean sweep. Defeats the OGs in the concrete jungle match. If you didn't enjoy that one. I don't know what to tell you. Thought the ending was a little bit overbooked with Conan. I had another idea of what I thought was going to happen. I will also talk about that one on the podcast. And in the undead realm. It wasn't even really a match. But it was a story. Ali and Sue Young. I personally was thoroughly entertained. And loved this from top to bottom. If you found it cheesy, if you found it corny, I can't look at something like that that obviously had so much effort put into it. Then obviously in the main event, Johnny Impact is your new Impact Wrestling World Champion. 
I thought they captured a good feel-good moment, adding Taya to the mix. But again, what the hell is going on with Austin Aries? Let's keep it locked on the news, Impact Wrestling. Hey, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Check out the video below for more Impact Wrestling-related content. This is the Impact Lounge. Hey, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Check out the video below for more Impact Wrestling related content. This is the Impact Lounge.